So let's say you want to include a face recognition feature in your application. So would you write all that code that is required for this face recognition feature from scratch? I mean, would you go through the trouble of choosing which algorithm works best for your use case and understand it and write the code based on it? Well, you can, but you don't have to. Because in this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own face recognition service with AWS recognition. Amazon recognition is basically a service that offers computer vision to your app. So it can analyze videos and images and can do various things out of it. The craziest thing is that you don't have to worry about how it works in the back end. I mean, it does make use of the best computer vision and machine learning algorithms to achieve what you want. And you can simply use this feature just like a function call in your code and you can achieve face recognition features from just one function call in your code. You don't have to worry about implementing your own machine learning algorithms. How cool is that? So let's go ahead and get our hands dirty with Amazon recognition. So in this video, what we're going to do is first, we are going to create an Amazon S3 bucket which is basically a storage solution that Amazon offers. You can, uh, you can insert uh, different kinds of uh, media files, etc., into this uh, S3 bucket. So what we're going to do is we're going to insert the images of famous persons into this S3 bucket. And while inserting these images, we are also going to define some metadata for these image files. For example, uh, let's say if I'm uploading a picture of person a. So the name of the file is going to be person a.jpg or person a.png, whatever the format of the image file is. So we're going to associate some metadata with this file that tells us who the person in this image is. So in this case, we're going to give it a metadata saying that the name of the person who is in the picture is something. For example, let's say the name of the person is Bob. So we're going to associate this metadata that mentions the name of the person to this image file. And similarly, the same applies for person B as well. When we are uploading the image of person B, person B.jpg, we're going to assign some metadata that says the name of this person. For example, let's say the name of the person is Alice. So the reason why we are doing this is obviously we need to start at some point. We can't just give the machine learning model some images and ask it to directly come up with the names of the persons inside it. What we want to do instead is we first have to give it some images. We have to feed it some input with some images and we have to actually tell it that the person in this particular picture has this particular name so that it will analyze that picture and it will basically remember that the person in that picture has this name. And then later when we want to analyze a new picture that we have never seen before, we can pass that picture to Amazon recognition. And based on the information that it already has, it's going to analyze that new picture and it's going to search in its index whether it knows the person who is actually in that picture. That is how it works. So anyway, we're going to create an S3 bucket and we're going to insert some images in it of famous persons. And while inserting it, we're also going to specify or mention the names of the persons in that picture. And after that, we're going to create a Lambda function, which is a way of building a serverless backend for your application. So the reason for using a Lambda function here is because whenever a new image is uploaded into this S3 bucket that we have just created, we can create a trigger such that it triggers this particular Lambda function. So whenever a new image is uploaded to this S3 bucket, this Lambda function that we'll be writing will be triggered and executed. So inside this Lambda function is where we will actually write the logic to populate the index of the Amazon recognition. So whenever a new image is uploaded to the bucket, the Lambda function is going to take that image, it's going to analyze it, and it's going to create something known as a face print. You can also call it a thumb print if you want. So it's going to create a face print of the person who is in that picture. So then it's going to save this face print into a database. And which in this case is going to be DynamoDB, which we have discussed in the previous video as well. It's basically a NoSQL database that AWS offers. So our Lambda function is going to store the name of the person in that picture along with his generated face print. So once we are done populating the index of Amazon recognition, we can now go ahead and actually come to the recognition part. We can submit it a picture to analyze and recognize. So what it's going to do is it's going to take uh, the image and it's going to analyze it and it's going to create or generate a face print 
from this image. And then what it's going to do is it's going to look up this face print in our table, in our database. And if any of the face print matches, it's going to go ahead and search the corresponding name of that face print. And then it's going to display as the name saying who is actually in that picture. And if this face print doesn't match to any of the face prints in the database or in the table, it means that the person is not recognized. So yeah, that is what we're going to do in this video. And we're going to write the code in Python so it's easier to understand. So let's go ahead and get started. First of all, I'll go ahead and install the AWS shell so that I can interact with my AWS services through the command line interface. So I'll just go ahead and say pip install AWS shell. And once it's done, I have to configure it. So I'll say AWS configure. And this is going to ask me for the AWS access key ID. And you can find it if you go to your AWS management console, go to your uh, security credentials, and then click on access keys, click on create new access key. And these are my credentials. So I'll copy my access key ID here. I'll paste it here. Similarly, my secret key, I'll copy it from here and I'll paste it. And make sure you keep these uh, keys, these credentials safe uh, because they are not meant to be exposed publicly. So I'm going to revoke these credentials as soon as I'm done recording this video. So yeah, so I'll hit enter. I'll put the region name as the default, which is US East one. You can change the region if you want and done. So the next step is to actually create a collection in Amazon recognition. So I will say AWS recognition, create collection, and I'll say collection ID is something like famous persons. And then the region is US East one. There you go. The collection is successfully created. And now I'll go ahead and create a table on the AWS DynamoDB so that our Lambda function will be able to store the face print and the corresponding name of that person. So let's go ahead and do that. So you can actually create a table from the UI as well, but I'll be doing it from the CLI. So this is the command I'm using to create a table. You can see the table name is set as face recognition. I'll hit enter and the table is now created. Okay, so the next step is to actually create the S3 bucket where we'll be actually storing the images. So let me go ahead and do that. I'll say AWS S3 and S3 colon slash slash followed by a unique bucket name. So I will name it as famous persons dash images. I hope that bucket name is available, we'll see. Okay, so it says that it has created the bucket. Now we can actually store stuff inside this bucket. So now it's time to actually go ahead and create or write our Lambda function, which will get triggered whenever a image is uploaded to the S3 bucket that we have just created. So before doing that, we need to actually create an IAM role so that this Lambda function that we were writing will be able to access the DynamoDB in order to write stuff and also the CloudWatch in order to write logs, in order to write any errors if it faced. And finally, it should also be able to access the Amazon recognition. So let's go ahead and create an IAM role uh, and give it these particular permissions. So I'll go to IAM, click on roles and click on create role. I'll select Lambda here, click on next, click on next again. And I'll name this as face recognition. And finally, I'll create the role. Okay, so as you can see, our role is now created. I'll click on it. And now I have to actually create an inline policy with our particular use case. So I click on create inline policy and you can actually choose a service and do all of this manually or you can go to the JSON tab and you can write your JSON with the required permissions. So I'm going to paste my JSON here. So in here you have to make some changes. For example, in this string, you actually have to change this to your bucket name. So my bucket name is famous persons hyphen images. So I'm going to copy it, paste it here. And then one more change you have to do is in the DynamoDB section, you have to change this to your tables ARN. And in order to find your ARN, you can search for DynamoDB. And I'll open this up in a new tab. I'll go to tables and this is the table I've created. I'll select it and click on additional info. And over here, I can find my Amazon resource name, short for ARN. So I'll just copy it, come back and paste my ARN here. I'll click on review policy. And I will give this the name as face recognition policy and create policy. Okay, that's done. So now we'll actually go ahead and create a Lambda function. I'll search for Lambda. I'll click on create function and I'll give the function name as something like face recognition. That should work. And the runtime, since I'm writing the code in Python, I'll choose the runtime as Python 3.7. And here's an important step. You need to actually change your default execution role to the role that you have just created, which is face recognition. So I'll choose that there and I'll expand advanced settings. 
and you don't have to change anything over here i'll click on create function and all right so this is the code area this is where you can write your python code but before doing that we'll go to uh configuration and i'll click on triggers and this is where i can actually create a trigger so i'll click on add trigger and i'll choose the trigger as s3 and the bucket name is going to be famous person's images and then the event type is going to be all object create event so that whenever an object is created on the bucket this particular event will get triggered and then the prefix you can actually give it a prefix uh, i'll give it a prefix as index so that all the objects that are created in this prefix will only trigger this particular event and yeah finally i'll click on add and done now that the trigger is created i can now go back to code and write the code for my lambda function so i already have my lambda function code here and i'm going to just go through it and explain what it does so whenever a new object is created or uploaded to our amazon s3 bucket this function will get triggered this function will get executed and the first thing it's going to do is it's going to get the bucket name and then the bucket key and after that it's calling this function index faces by passing bucket and its corresponding key and inside this function it's using the recognition api to populate its index or in other words to generate the face prints from those particular images that are uploaded so once it's done it's getting the face id which is nothing but the face print and then it's getting the full name from the images metadata and finally it's storing these two details in the face recognition table inside the dynamo db you can see it's calling this function and if you go to that function you can see it's using the dynamo db dot put item function which will basically insert these particular values which are face id and its corresponding full name into the table so in other words it's populating its index okay so i'll just copy all this code i'll come back to my uh, lambda function and i'll paste all this code here i'll click on deploy and then the code is now deployed and that's it that's basically it now let's go ahead and actually test if it's working so first of all we have to upload the image to our s3 bucket so that the function will get triggered and the amazon recognition will populate its index so let's go ahead and do that with a python program so i have this very simple python program with me here and what it's basically going to do is it's going to take the images that are in this current directory and you can see for each image file we're also mentioning the corresponding person the name of the corresponding person who is that who is in that image and i'll actually show you the image files and you can see image one if i open it it's elon musk image two is also elon musk and then there's bill gates and then there's sundar pichai so i have six images in total two elon musk images two bill gates images and two sundar pichai's images so we're going to upload these six images to our s3 bucket and let the amazon recognition populate its index and once again you can see that for each file for each image file we're also mentioning the name of the person who is in that image file so we are basically kind of like teaching the ai that the name of this person is this so that whenever you encounter a picture that has this person you know that the name of him is this particular thing so yeah it's basically going to iterate through this list and it's going to upload each image into the s3 bucket uh, with this particular prefix and you can see we're also including the metadata specifying the full name of the person so yeah let's go ahead and execute it so i'll say python put images.py it says that the bucket does not exist so i think this is not actually the bucket name oh it's actually famous persons dash images so i'll change the bucket name here and let me execute the program again okay so the program is done executing it did not throw any errors so that means that the upload of all these six images to the s3 bucket is successful so if i actually go back uh, and refresh this page you can see now that there is a folder called index and inside this folder there are these six images that are just uploaded so this means that our lambda function is triggered six times because we have uploaded six objects into our bucket so let's go to the dynamo db and let's check if the index is actually populated so i'll go to the party ql editor here and i'll say select star from uh, the name of the table which is face recognition and let's see okay you can see that there are six items and you can see the first column which says recognition id is basically the face print and then there's a full name which is basically the name of that particular person so that means that the index is successfully populated and we can now actually test our service our face recognition service and see if it can actually recognize these people so let's go ahead and test it so here's a program to test it it's going to first take the path of the image that you want to check 
and it's going to open it it's going to convert it into binary and then it's going to use the recognition dot search faces by image function and it passes the binary image to it and once it gets the response it's going to go through that response and it's going to see if that face print matches any of the face prints that is in the already populated index and if they match it means that the person is recognized so here i have four new images there's Bill Gates, there's Elon Musk, and there's Sundar Pichai, and then there's also my picture. Let me go ahead and execute the testing script. It asks me the path of the image to check. Uh, first of all, let's see if it's able to recognize Sundar Pichai. So uh, I'll enter sundar.jpg and let's see if it works. Okay, so there you go. It said that it is able to find the person Sundar Pichai. The first face print that it printed here is basically the face print that it generated from this particular image that I gave as input to this program. So it generated this face print and it basically checked if this face print matches any face print that is already existing in its index or in other words, it's DynamoDB table. And since it's matching, it, it was able to tell that the person in that picture is Sundar Pichai. So let me actually go ahead and do the same with, uh, let's say Elon, Elon Musk. So I'll give the Elon.jpg file as input here and let's see if it works. There you go. It says that it found the person as Elon Musk. And finally, I'll do the same for Bill Gates as well. Bill Gates .jpg. Okay, so there you go. It says that it recognized the person as Bill Gates. Finally, let me pass my own picture as the input. And it should be saying that it is not able to recognize me because my face print doesn't exist in the in its index. So let me go ahead and check that. My pick.jpg. And it's going to basically say who the hell are you, isn't it? Yeah, there you go. It says person cannot be recognized. So yeah, it's not able to recognize me. It makes sense because my image doesn't already exist in its index. And also one thing that I want to tell you is that the more the number of pictures of a particular person, the more the accuracy will be uh, to recognize that particular person. Because obviously the more the images, the more the inputs the AI has, the more efficiently it will be able to work. So this is one thing that you will have to keep in your mind. All right, so it's that simple to develop and include a face recognition system in your own application with AWS recognition. So if you like this video, do not forget to leave a thumbs up below and also leave a comment in the comment section below. If you're not yet a subscriber, please do hit that subscribe button and also turn on the bell icon to receive instant updates. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, cheers.